Hello everyone, I am Swastik. I am 17 year old innovator, interdisciplinary researcher and an imaginator. And of course, I am a bathroom motivation maker. So, uh, I developed solutions for various global issues, global problems like plastic waste management, protein energy malnutrition, oral cancer diagnosis and uh, seawater desalination. Today I am going to share my journey from Puttur to a planet. So I started as a kid by breaking toys. But my interest was to reconstruct, reconfigure it to meet my imagination. Screwdrivers, spanners and pl uh, pliers were my childhood best friends. So at the age of 11, I started developing solutions, developing machines for agricultural problems after seeing many problems in our farm. So next, uh, when I was 14, I was in Bangalore uh, and I saw plastic lying everywhere. So and that made me to think why this is happening and uh, can I do it, do something and uh, I got an idea to do a plast a brick or pavement blocks from uh, plastic. So after coming back home without thinking much I started experimenting. I took plastic bottles in a heated metal pan and uh, melted it down and created the per first material. And uh, it was like puppet. You could really break it. And uh, my mom actually laughed at me. Oh, this is uh, what you created after your brainstorming. So then uh, I thought to give a second chance. So this time I was doing the same procedure. But uh, this time I had a plastic bag. I was curious what happens to a bag if I put that into a pan. So I put the uh, bag into the pan and it caught fire. So to extinguish fire, I threw some sand. So this plastic and sand combined to form a black mass. I cooled it down and tried to break it. It did not break. So that was an eureka moment for me. And then out of excitement, I went to a professor to test the material. He said that uh, it is impossible to create a composite out of LDP plastic, plastic bags, because it's a non-recyclable kind of plastic and uh, sand. And also alleged that I must have mixed uh, rubber. So it was a major setback. And uh, then after some time, again I thought to give a second try. Then uh, this time I went to another professor. He tested it immediately and it did not break. He actually impressed and he advised me to do it in a scientific steps as a research. So after two years of continuous uh, development and testing, I developed a material out of waste plastic and sand which is 24 times stronger than concrete, 8 times lighter than concrete and 12 times cheaper than concrete and more greener than concrete. It has wide range of applications starting from uh, uh, screw and nut. You can construct an entire building with this material and it can save number of houses being washed out due to coastal erosion. So uh, I was fortunate enough to represent our country at the International Science and Engineering Fair. I, I took a guidance from various professors, various uh, people, and they actually misguided me. So I presented there even though I did not win an award. It gave me a confidence to do more and to do it better. And after coming back, I was watching a TED talk of Professor Manu Prakash. He told that, Paper is the next generation diagnostic tool. So that inspired me to do something out of uh, paper. And I came to know that protein energy malnutrition is one of the major cause for child mortality across the globe. So uh, along with my friend, Mohammed Suhail, I designed a low cost, non-invasive, pre-symptomatic diagnostic tool for protein energy malnutrition, which can detect uh, uh, protein energy molecule with, uh, with just paper, saliva and a smartphone. So, and it costs only 2 rupees. And uh, uh, this time, like uh, uh, when we presented to people, they were telling to concentrate on one field. Like this project was a combination of chemistry, biology and computer science and uh, interdisciplinary research is not appreciated by the professors and uh, uh, like scientists in India. 
So and uh, but this time I had uh, made sure that uh, I will follow only my ideas. I will not listen to anyone. And uh, again, I was uh, selected uh, for International Science and Engineering Fair. And uh, this time, we had a stall. We had a stall to present our project. And uh, the people and the uh, you know participants from the other countries were laughing at the by looking the size of the project. And uh, fortunately, we won the second grand award. And uh, uh, MIT Lincoln Laboratory and International Astronomical Union has named a minor planet after me, considering my research, uh, interdisciplinary research and frugal innovation. Thank you. And uh, what was exciting and what made me proud was, uh, after winning an award, I came back to my stall. A professor came to, my, uh, came to me and said, you Indians are really genius. You guys bring project in your pocket and get back awards in your bag. And he said that you are really like... Thank you. And uh, uh, like, and developing this project was not easy as it works. Like, uh, uh, it was, we did not have any, like, sufficient funding. We did not have any labs. We often complain about the lack of resources what we have. But uh, that actually helped us to make it more simpler and it more cheaper. And I believe that less is more. And uh, till that, my goal, like, my initial goal was to win an award. And later, I thought the vast scope of uh, the projects and the how innovation can benefit other people. And now, I believe that my greatest award will be when I recycle at least 10 tons of plastic every day and or when a child's life is saved by my paper strip. And uh, I came to a point where uh, I, I had a lot of confusions, a lot of what to do, what to do next. I had a product in my hand, whether I should give it to uh, a mass manufacturer for royalty or should I start my own company. I had a lot of, lo lot of uh, confusions in my head. And uh, what I did was I went to Himalayas. I went to Himalayas alone and I started thinking, what's my next step? What should I do next? And I realized that I should make it my own because if I give it to someone else, my vision will be lost. Only my product will succeed. And uh, I'm an entrepreneur. So uh, then uh, I have like, I, I do, risk, now I'm working on uh, seawater desalination and other technology. You may find my story like, uh, uh, like, funny, right? This guy has become like succeeded because of an accident. but. I believe that I succeeded because of four C's. That is, uh, I was crazy to start without uh, any knowledge about plastic. I was curious that what happens to a bag if I put that bag into a pan. And I was conscious to observe the black mass formation and uh, I used my common sense to cool it down and create a material. And uh, uh, the greatest, like, the greatest award, like the success for me was uh, when I went to a professor with a pack of sweets and told him that I won the president's award for, this, uh, the, for the innovation, which uh, he told that impossible. That was like a uh, big moment for me. And uh, I also like, believe that 4I plays an important role. I ideate, innovate, implement, and inspire. If you implement what's your idea, what's your innovation, it's useless. If you don't inspire others after implementing, it's worthless. And uh, I want to end the talk by saying that uh, let's make our Earth more livable. Not a big change, but let's make our Earth more livable. Thank you. Thank you.